I can only describe it like a fish sucking on your eyeball. <laughs> I know, I've never had that happen, but I can only imagine that that's what it's like. <laughs> I wore contacts and glasses, but contacts dried out my eyes, so that was always problematic. But then if I had to wear my glasses, I couldn't stand the fact that I'd look out of the corner of my eye, everything would be blurry, and the next second I'd look straight ahead and it would all be in focus. I finally decided that it was something I wanted to consider when my eyes stopped getting worse every time I went to the eye doctor, but pretty much remained consistent. The cost was pretty much way out of my range of what I expected, but then when I realized how much I spent on contacts and new prescriptions and solutions every year, it became something much more manageable when you do the math over time. It's a really quick procedure. After they give you a mild sedative and give you drops to numb the surface of your eyes, you go into the operating room where there's, you know, music playing, can be a very relaxing environment about three technicians in there. And they put a circular clamp around your eye. They do one eye at a time. You have no frame of reference. You can hardly see. You notice a, a bright light. But most of all, what you feel is pressure, not pain. And it's uncomfortable. During that portion, they tell you to remain totally still, while in my case, a laser made an incision, what they refer to as a flap around the cornea of my eye. After this flap is created on both eyes, one at a time, they lift the flap back, and the laser then comes and modifies the shape of your cornea and corrects your vision and all the imperfections that are going on within the eye. That only really takes about 15 minutes from start to finish.